Welcome back everyone to our training series. Today we're going to be discussing how to add custom checkout fields to your website. Now these would be used for things like gathering additional information in the checkout process that aren't part of our standard set of fields. For example, maybe you want to know what someone's birthday is or how they heard about you or who knows what what uh, what's their birthstone I don't know there's all sorts of different things um, that you might come across that you want to ask them in addition to that you may want to um, notify them about certain things or send them display messages to them in the in the checkout so we'll discuss how to do that and you know <clears throat> of course we automatically have fields in there for billing and shipping and payment information and these go above and beyond those okay so to get started, let's make sure you're logged in, and then you want to click on the My Settings button. And from here, you'll find the link in the bottom row, middle column, it says Custom Checkout Fields. Okay, click on that, and you'll be brought to this page here, where you can, um, where we'll go through how to kind of set up different checkout uh, field options. Okay, so the first section deals with. Uh, creating a custom checkout message okay so let's say that you want to display a custom message in the checkout and you always want to display it every time then you just click always say you know um, thanks for your order be sure to visit us us at our uh, retail location located at blah 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 whatever or maybe you have some other custom message that you want to give or tell each customer of yours okay whatever that message may be you type it in here now the other option is maybe you only want to display a message to your people uh, your customers that are buying if they order a certain amount of money or I should say if they if their order is more than a certain amount of money so you can do that too where you just say okay if the order amount is greater than and let's say 25 bucks then display this message okay so it's up to you you have two options there okay and whatever you decide to do we're just gonna say always hit save make sure you click save when you're done so that's how you can display a custom message now don't confuse this with a return policy which is located right here now we talked about how to do this in a different video and if you uh, are looking more to sh give a custom message to your uh, clients or customers that's more geared towards a return policy, be sure to go and watch that video instead. Okay, so we'll come back to our custom checkout fields here. And let's move on to the next section where you can actually add fields in your checkout for your customers to fill in or fill out. Okay, so we've got one here. It's called field name is company name. Now I didn't create this. This is a demo account. Somebody else put this in here. I don't know why they would have done that. Ask for a company name, but they did. So it's fine, no problem. So the the, the name in checkout is called company name. And where do you want to display it? Do you want to just display it for internal use or for the customers to use in the checkout, which is what we're talking about today? So we'll check that box. And then you can also set some options. Do you want to make this field required? Do they have to enter something into it? If you do, you can check this box. Uh, if you do want to make it required, and if you want to remember what they typed in the last time they were there, you can also check this box to make it easy for them. Say if it's something about birthdays, uh, you know, what when's your birthday, then you can um, check this box so they don't have to re-enter their birthday every time they come back. They'll just remember it. And then you can also make this custom field um, display based on how much they order. So if you don't want it to display unless their order is over a certain amount, you can do this as well. Okay, uh, so let's add a new one just for example's sake. We're going to give this one, let's say, what, you, what, what is your birthday? Okay, and in this case we want it to be a text field. You could also have it be a text box and give it a size so they can put in more information. Maybe you're asking them, hey, how'd you hear about us? And you want to let them uh, provide a more detailed explanation, then you can give them a text box. Or you can give them a drop-down. Maybe the drop-down is, um, 
you know, uh, what city uh, do you, oh, I don't know, do you, uh, what city would you love to live in or something? Who knows why you would ask this question, but just for uh, purposes of example, you could come in here and you could give them some options. You could say, um, you know, San Diego. You could say um, Miami, you know, whatever. And if you're doing drop downs, you just separate each one by a comma and you can do it that way. And in this case, we'll just keep it as um, San Diego, Miami. Uh, let's call it, uh, um, I don't know, what are some others here? Portland and so on. Okay, you add field when you're done. And then it'll show up down here and allow you to choose some of these other options. For customers and checkout, let's remember last. Let's make this one required, and we don't care if the order amount's greater or not. So then we're going to hit save. We're going to refresh this, and now you can see down here that you can sort these if you want them to be in different orders. So let's say uh, you don't want to ask for the company name first in the checkout. You want to ask what city they would love to live in. Then you can move that up and move that one down. Of course, you can always edit and delete. So this is kind of a sort order for what uh, these fields, how they appear in your checkout. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Once you've done, you know, once you've finished setting these up and, and got them the way you want them, of course, you always want to go to your site, um, go to your checkout, make sure they look the way you want them, make sure that it is all set up properly, and then from there, you should be all set to go. So. Uh, hopefully that gives you some uh, ideas on how you can capture additional information in the checkout process. If you do have additional questions, as always, you can ask us a question from the support tab, or you can always email your customer service rep directly for more help. Thanks again for joining. We'll talk to you next time.